Hello everyone, Namaskar and welcome once again to India-Mexico Knowledge Sharing Forum. Eleanor Roosevelt once said, dreams belong to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Dream, dream, dream and dreams. Yes, dreams have the magical quality of getting converted to reality. Of course, there are days, of course, there are times when you know, we keep on thinking and it gets really tough. What can we do to achieve that particular goal or that particular destination which we always want to be ours? And then suddenly one fine day we wake up and what we see is that we are living that dream. Yes, that's a completely different feeling altogether, ladies and gentlemen. And if you ask me, what is that it takes? From my point of view, it's only commitment. So I, Pinky Pathak, on behalf of Team India Mexico today, take this opportunity to welcome once again amongst us, Dr. Professor Jagdish Khatri, sir, as he will be talking and taking us through the magic of dreams part two today. But before handing over the session and you know, before conversing, let me take you guys through his profile. Dr. Khatri is a renowned management faculty, trainer, motivator at national and international levels. Professor Jagdish Khatri is a BE Mechanical MBA PhD, ex-professor and director of business management and shareholder UNESCO, network chair at Mansar University. He is also the ex-director of Sanskar College of Management, Allahabad. He is a technocrate turned management thinker with around 45 years of experience at senior positions in corporate and academic circles. He is a regular visiting professor, trainer, and speaker at Moscow State University. He is also the founder and CEO of digital company, Successful Management Worldwide Leadership, a digital platform for training and sharing the best practices. He is consultant with ADMIS Consultancy, London, UK. Dr. Khatri, I welcome once again on behalf of Team India, Mexico. In the Thank first you. part, you much, as you have... Namaskar, sir. In the first part, sir, you have taken us to the magical qualities of dream. Why are dreams important? You even shared some instances of your life where you told us that how, you know, you being positive, you manifesting in a positive way, you, you had turned one of your dreams into reality. And you gave us a beautiful picture of how magical a dream can be. So today, sir, we would like to hear from you. If you can share any incident which is related to some famous personality who is in the uh, public forum. Public forum, I'm saying this because uh, they are the people whose lives are open books and people look up to them. They are our role models. I mean, role models for many of us. They are great people. So if we discuss today about them, the people can definitely get back, cross check, and they will be more clear that yes, dreams are do magical and that they get converted to reality. Sir. Uh, well, thank you very much. Uh, it's nice to be uh, once again on this platform. Uh, of course, if we go through the autobiographies of so many uh, celebrities, we all find that they have been able to convert their dreams into realities. But uh, let me begin with uh, the story about Kalpana Chabla, the famous astronaut. And uh, whatever I'm going to tell is most authentic because I had the privilege of inviting her father, Mr. B.L. Chavla, to my college to address my MBA students uh, quite a few years back. So what, uh, whatever he shared, I'm just sharing part of that. Uh, you see, uh, she, she had a dream of flying uh, right from the childhood. She used to visit flying clubs also in a little town of Karnal in Haryana. <laughs> And uh, she did uh, engineering and then she applied for aerospace engineering at University of Texas, Arlington. The, she was admitted, the admission letter came and there were only five days left to arrange for visa and uh, going over there and taking admissions. And somehow uh, uh, her father, uh, he said no. I will fulfill your dreams and God will help, help us. And you know what happened? <clears throat> they, they could arrange for the visa, 
and uh, a flight also to uh, New York. But somehow it happened that uh, they were reaching on the last day of admission uh, in the afternoon at uh, uh, New York airport. And the connecting flight to Arlington was uh, quite a few years, a uh, few hours after. So they requested university for giving one more day. University replied, we cannot change our rules, but we cannot afford to lose a student like Kalpana. So our professor will receive you at New York airport and bring in our own car to the uh, university so that you reach there in time and take admission. So this is how, if your mind can conceive it and if your heart can believe it, you can certainly achieve it. You get uh, help from unimaginable sources. Uh, take an example of, uh, uh, I will name it a little later, a girl was born in 1980 to a Czechoslovakian family who were tennis uh, uh, players. And at that time, Martina Navratilova was world number one in tennis. So they, they named her, their daughter Martina, whom we know as Martina Hingis later on. At the age of four years, she started learning how to uh, play tennis at the age of four years. And one day she she became world number one, just like Martina Navratilova, and remained uh, number one for 209 weeks. And at the age of 25, she, she could beat Martina Navratilova also. So this way, there are so many examples, but uh, this just that came to my mind immediately, that once you your dream is powerful, and you act upon it with intensity, you can achieve it. Yes, uh, very beautifully quoted. I mean, yes, for India, Kalpana Chawla has always been the name and she will remain the name forever. Same goes for Martina Hingis too. This other no. ladies who are not only just embodiment of women empowerment, but also someone who has shown the way. They have shown us that, yes, when you dream big, it definitely gets converted to reality. Yes, sure. Yeah. So moving ahead, I would also want you to take us through, you know, like uh, certain things, you know, where has this been a part of the Indian ethos and scriptures too, like dreaming about dreaming, about the magic of dreams, where, where are they part of our Indian ethos and scriptures? If you can tell us something about that. Thank you. It's a very interesting question. Uh, in fact, we all look forward to our religious scriptures and practices for inspiration. And if we look closely at different uh, scriptures, you see, our Bhagavad Gita teaches us karma yoga. And what does karma yoga mean? That you concentrate on your work, on your karma. If it is pious, moral, ethical, and uh, with intensity, then you leave it to God for the uh, fruits of it. So uh, it's, it's, it's again, same thing told in a different way, that if you are uh, too much about your karma, what will help you? Uh, then you see, uh, I would like to quote from Bible, very interesting. Uh, let me read out it so that there's no mistake. Just Bible says, ask and you shall receive. Ask and you shall receive. Knock and the door will be opened. You cannot ask until you deserve. You cannot ask until you deserve, but you need not ask unless you desire. Just see, so, so much importance being given to desire. Create that, convert those wishes into wants. I just don't wish it. I want it to happen. And once that intensity is there, then it, it realizes. I would also like to quote from uh, Gurbani. So uh, I would have to follow the religious protocol while uh, quoting from Guru Granth Sahib Ji. It says, 
जो मांगे ठाकुर अपने थे सोई सोई गए जो मांगे ठाकुर अपने थे सोई सोई देवे नानक दास मुक्ते जो बोले इहा उहा सच हो गए दैट मींस व्हाट एवर योर डिजायर्स आर देयर द मर्सीफुल लॉर्ड इज रेडी टू फुलफिल दोस डिजायर्स व्हाट एवर यू से हियर एंड देयर नाउ एंड देन इट कैन कम ट्रू just believe in it and uh, if we see uh, uh, shridhi sai baba he has said for shraddha and saburi that is faith and patience ultimate faith faith in yourself faith in the supreme lord faith in your mission and patiently work upon it and it will come true so uh, this is how uh i think uh, we can draw inspiration from our religious scriptures and go ahead thank you for the nice yes. question yeah sir you are very beautifully quoted that you know when we are talking about uh, the different uh, what the different scriptures keeps on telling us i mean it's already been uh, given us given to us by the great great yes. leaders so here i i remember my mother keeps on telling it not only my mother but uh, this is something which is prevalent in our sms culture too they keep saying that you know you have to dream big only then things get turned into reality karma kore jua tetia hai ratna paba it means when you when you work towards achieving your dreams only then you are going to get that fruitful result so i also felt like quoting it from uh, my Uh, from my hometown that is what is prevalent in amongst my yes, people so, so great so great thank you yes so so you know uh, again so moving ahead you are of course an experienced person you have seen life you know in a better way than the way we have seen so what is your view point about the present youth do you think that they are still dreaming big if yes then how is it uh, being seen or is prevalent and if not what are the reasons which are pulling them back if you can guide us a bit sir yeah our uh, president apj kalam had said it is criminal to have low aims and uh, we all revere him so much but unfortunately not all of us follow that uh, you see some of the reasons that come to my mind is that there is too much of faith orientation in our society you can't get more than what is in your destiny and uh, don't aim so big otherwise if you aim too high you are going to fall down like anything so what happens is that we don't motivate we don't guide our children also to dream big and have for big aims that is the problem with us also it's not only youth uh, we can say that uh, uh, they are not dreaming big have we allowed them to be we all want them to remain in their comfort zones and dal roti chal rahi hai aur kya chahiye why why aspire for more you are already living uh, leading a good life so that is what stops us from dreaming big otherwise we have all the potential we have uh, all the technology to help us and uh, we can certainly become a real superpower and it is not question of i'm talk, not talking about india only it's there with all uh, developing countries that uh, youth uh, they are not dreaming big and they are not taking risk we call it ntr type never take risk so they are all ntr type the risk nahi lena hai baki sab theek hai so so that that is a, a problem that is hindering our progress and perhaps with talks like this or with motivational self help books perhaps we can change that scenario so that will be a little contribution but i i am i am hopeful that uh, 21st century belongs to us only. Yes, sir. Of course, of course. Twenty uh, first century definitely belongs to us. When you are talking about, you know, if if we are being provided the opportunity or not, 
here i would like to share what real life i mean real time example of you know which is related to me or many youths like us when suppose you say as you said we are made to stay in our comfort zone so basically you know we we belong to a generation i i belong from the 90s so mostly i have grown up hearing the thing that you have to get accustomed either to a corporate job or either to the government or a central job so if you think about entrepreneurship it is something like you know coming out of the box kind of a thing you do not have a future on that although as you said it's 21st century and things are, are changing actually drastically and people are showing some trust on the entrepreneurs so i belong to a generation where i have seen the progress all throughout i think it is it is all about the beauty of dreams only that people have dreamt that's the reason we are getting to see the transition and i actually think myself to be very lucky that i am seeing this transition here people are welcoming it it in uh, with open hands it is only because of the magic of things yeah. so as you are here with us today moving ahead i would like to take this opportunity to get to know from your end if you can suggest us some simple ways which can help us in cultivating our dreams to success well you see one very small thing that can help us is and i i tell all my students and children uh, to follow that please prepare a dream book one big copy uh, on which uh, school boys uh, they paint that and start writing on those pages your dreams and then start pasting pictures of that whatever you come to know of that you just keep writing adding to it it will work magic just see uh we all know doctors and psychologists they all tell us that for the mothers to be if uh, in their room we have a hanging picture of a healthy smiling child it is it does help to the unborn child even so if a picture can help in manifestation of and uh, getting a healthy child why can't a picture of our dream help us to reach towards that dream i would like to recommend uh, in the last episode we had talked about the alchemist by paulo coelho and another very very important book is the secret by ronda byron it is wonderful uh, book as well as uh, a film on that and i advise everybody to see it number of times it says on the law of uh, possibilities law of attraction like 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 uh, law of gravity works for all like uh, that uh, law of attraction works for all only thing is it is uh, to be clubbed by strong desire and also visualizing it once you visualize you can actualize so this dream book helps uh, in that another thing that uh, i would like to say is own your dream don't be shy of uh, telling about your dream even if people laugh at it flaunt it be known for your dream you see uh, once we visit our friend's house or relative's house and we usually talk to their small children okay what do you want to become and they all tell i want to become a doctor engineer or so and so and so, and so. <laughs> yes and we uh, we just ask for formality and then we forget about it but we do remember someone who has a very high dream we will always remember oh that child he wanted to be an actor oh that child he wanted to go into space so more audacious is your dream more you are remembered and you attract the universe to help you in that let us uh, have those audacious goals let us go through uh, the autobiographies of successful people and uh, how they could uh, i mean this should become a part of our curriculum we should uh, honor our entrepreneurs as our heroes 
they are the people who can really motivate inspire as you said now the generation is changing and uh, there are so many opportunities and uh, youth they are ready to take up chances so let us learn from these let us always keep our eyes and ears open for inspiring things and uh, with that perhaps uh, we can achieve the manifestation of our dreams into reality this is what uh, i would suggest to everyone thank you so much sir it was a lot of wisdom at a single go although you know i am sure we i can always keep on talking with you regarding this uh, because this topic itself is so beautiful it can enrich anybody and everybody the way you said that everybody should have a to do list i think yes we all should the way we do in our office that this is what we are going to accomplish uh, during the whole day this is what our tasks are tomorrow and for the week ahead so yes everybody should have that and the way you said yes children should be uh, made uh, to understand this so schools i think can take up uh, take a pivotal role in this plus the parents at home as yes, well as sir. the neighbors because it's all about the ecosystem surrounding you until and unless you live in a place where you are also getting positivity or else it it, it is uh, there is no use of that it should be like what you reflect back it's coming back to you that is how it should be thank you so much sir uh, if, if uh, there is a one minute uh, i would like to read out the last email uh, that kalpana chawla gave from the space shuttle before the disaster struck Sure, to sure. uh, uh, to uh, the students of her college she said follow your dreams the path for dreams to reality does exist may you have the vision to find it may you have the courage to get into it and the preserve perseverance to follow it and this is what the message i think this is for not only the students for each one of us each at of us. any age we can have dreams and uh, try to follow it so thank you very much for this opportunity to share it has been a wonderful time and uh, it's my privilege thank you very much thank you so much sir from uh, india mexico forum too and we are really looking forward to many more sessions with you thank you so much for enriching us today Thank, Thank you. you.